Hey guys, Fred with Bravo One X-Ray here. I got another uh, upgrade for my Dillon XL650 here. Uh, it was on eBay and I found this uh, from Taylor Tactical. Um, it's a powder measure uh, flow control knob um, that actually uh, you can use instead of the wrench that you normally would use up there. This is a finger tightened knob. It seems to be very nice quality. Pull it out of the package here so you can see it. Uh, all metal construction. It's got a, a washer here. Um, I haven't figured out how to put it on yet. We'll do that together. But uh, you can see it's graduated very nicely. And uh, give you direction of which way is more. And you can guess which way is less. Well, let's get this thing uh, mounted up and uh, check it out and see how it works. So uh, let me, uh, I'll, re I'll reposition the camera and then we'll get down on the bench here and uh, we'll, we'll get moving, okay? All right, guys, this will be quick, I promise. Uh, I got a handhold here for just a minute just to show you how to get the uh, powder bar out of the powder measure. So what you do is you'll take uh, an Allen key here and you'll loosen up this screw here. I've already done a pre previous here. And then you'll just pull this white box out of the bar. And then the bar should just slide out. Yeah, just like that. So that's how you get the bar out. So what we're going to be replacing is that bolt right there. So let me get the reset on the bench here. And uh, we'll take it apart together and see how it goes. Hold on just a second. All right, what you're going to need to do this is a uh, 7 16 wrench uh, to get this bolt out of here. And it looks like we're just going to have to loosen it up until it the it releases itself from the the uh, um, the powder drop part here. Uh, let's see here. How do we get this guy out of here? Definitely looks like you have to do something with this guy right here. Because if you go to loosen it, it pushes the bar against the, uh, the, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Sorry. There you go. Uh, yeah, I think that might have something to do with it there. Ah, drats. Uh, let me shut the camera off for a second. Let me see if I can figure this out. And I'll break out the manual and see what see what that says. But uh, give me a second here. Okay, I looked in the manual. I really didn't find anything, but uh, I figured it out. So you take your wrench and you're going to rotate this clockwise until the measuring part reaches against the block here and then you're going to just going to give it a little bit more tension and then this guy basically just comes right out there it goes comes right out it uh it locks itself in there so then we just got to back this all the way back out here and then we can get the this screw out <clears throat> like that and uh, they give you a washer but they don't have this wavy washer so I'm gonna put the, the wavy rot washer back on the new sorry my hands are in the way here a little bit but I'm gonna put this wavy washer on this new guy here with their supplied washer like so and then we're going to screw this back in and we'll have to do the same 
to put this back in, we'll have to get it tight up against it. There you go, now you can see there. See how this is getting up against the bar there? And then we'll have to tighten up against it. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in there. Let's uh, try that other washer. Maybe the washer's too fat. But it uses that uh, wavy washer to maintain tension so it doesn't, as you're operating the press, doesn't spin all over the place and start throwing your, your powder charges everywhere. So we'll take that, that washer appears to be a little bit thicker than this one. Let's put this one on there and see how that does. All right. Try this again here. Like I said in my first video, um, we're going to be doing this together here, so you'll see uh, my mistakes and helping me figure this stuff out and working through stuff. But you can see we're just screwing this back in here. And uh, let me make sure that washer is... Here's... There we go. Huh. It still doesn't fit in there. I would think you really would want the uh, wavy washer in there, but it just doesn't fit, it looks like. All right, let's try it with no flat washer and just the wavy washer. I think the wavy washer, I mean, it came with a flat washer, but I think the wavy washer will be more beneficial to keep it from moving or drifting as, you know, you're operating the press. So let's uh, get this way. It came with absolutely no instructions. Um, but like I said, it, it, seems, it appears to be very well built. It's all, the, the knob is aluminum. Um, looks like the... This part is stainless. Seems to be a very nice part. Hope we can get this thing to work here. One more time here. Sorry guys. But uh, this is as I got it. So there we go. Sorry. So we're just threading that knob back in there. Hmm. Oh, it looks like it might go in this time. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the this part, uh, there you go. This part of the shoulder of the bolt rides into this rides in this piece right here, and that's what locks it in. You can, I don't know if you can quite see that or not. Let me get a close up here. But there's a little groove right there where this piece sits in, and that's what actually locks this in here. And that's what I'm doing here. I can see I'm putting it in this way. And then, yep, goes right in there like that. And then we'll just loosen it up. And then, see that's locked in there now. You can't, you can't get that out. Yeah, so I don't know. The, uh, neither one of those washers work, but if you just use the wavy washer by itself, it seems like it works just fine. So that's what it looks like when it's on the back of the uh, back on the the powder bar here, and uh, as you can see, it says more in the opposite direction of we're turning it for for less, and it looks like it's working just perfect. Well, that's awesome. That's way easier than having to reach up there with a wrench every time you need to 
fine-tune or adjust your uh, powder throw there. But yep, that's uh, from end to end there. It works just perfect. Goes right up into there. That's stopped right there. And you can still see, you can see there's still plenty of thread back there. So this is going to work out nice. This is really a nice piece. I'm glad I got this. So we're just going to have to install this just the opposite as, as we took it off. And uh, hey, let me grab the camera. I'll show you how. I'll put it back on with you. Okay. Hold on one second. All right, guys. I'll have to apologize, but you ha I have to handhold this one again. Sorry. But uh, yeah, you slide the bar back in, and then you just need that white box, a uh, little Delrin plastic, right there. It needs to slide back into the groove. And then don't forget to tighten up your screw here. You have an Allen head there, and there's a lock nut on the back side there. You just got to get that tightened up, but you don't want uh, too tight because this has still got to operate uh, fluidly. And there is the knob. Look at that guy. It's pretty nice, actually. Works like a perfect. Great addition to the XL650. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's great. Let's go around this other side here. There it is from the other side. Awesome. Once again, that's the uh, the Taylor Tactical Powder Measure Knob for the Dillon Powder Measure. This is Fred with Bravo One X-Ray, 73.